Have you heard of this term called silver tsunami? Just look around you. How many people in their 20s have a head full of white hair? How many in their 30s and 40s are getting heart attacks? Hi, I'm Divya Kanchi Botla, Executive Director of Shri Shri Institute for Advanced Research. And today, I'm going to be talking to you about something we all experience in our life. There's not a single human being or an animal on the planet who does not experience this. That phenomena is called aging. Aging is a natural phenomena. You know, you grow and then your body develops, your brain develops and after a while there is a wear and tear and you will lose some cells, some muscle strength. That is a natural phenomena. You cannot prevent aging. But what we do in our life, we accelerate our aging. So instead of slowing it down, we are actually accelerating our aging. Aging is on three levels. One, of course, it has a level of your body, of your organs, you know. Uh, you know, oh, my knee is hurting or my muscles don't work as well or my hair is turning white. That is one aspect of aging that we can see and that we usually pay more attention to. But there are two more subtle aspects of aging that people don't see until it's too late and don't pay attention to. One of them is cellular aging. What happens to your cells? What's happening to your DNA? What's happening to your enzymes and your hormones? That's not something you can see every day, but that is the reason why suddenly a 40 year old will get a heart attack and die. Or suddenly, you know, at the age of 30, your hair will turn just white or you will start developing gut issues or your immunity will tank and suddenly you have psoriasis on your skin and you're like, what happened to me? We don't catch cellular aging till it's too late. And the third type of aging which we cannot catch, which is not visible very easily is mental aging. What happens to our brain? Like I said, you know, chronic stress can physically shrink your brain. Everybody's brain is aging. When we grow up, our brain is developing. By the age we hit about 24, 25, our brain has physically developed to its full capacity. And then the process of slow attrition of the brain begins. For many years, scientists thought that, you know, once you have all your brain cells, you're never going to get new brain cells. But that is not true now. We know that brain has some formation of new cells. But for most of us, because of our lifestyle, we don't allow the brain to regenerate itself at the rate at which we are killing it. And then suddenly one day we we start having these tremors in our hand or we start experiencing memory loss and then dementia. Number one cause of aging acceleration is stress. Stress is a ubiquitous phenomenon. If you ask a four year old, do they know what stress is? They'll say yes. Whether you ask an 84 year old or a four year old, they will know what stress is. So stress accelerates aging and we all experience stress. Today, contrary to what we all believe maybe, modern science says not all stress is bad. Now that may be a little surprising for you. But there are multiple types of stress. I won't go into all the details, but for the purposes of this video, we will talk about two types of stress. One type of stress is called acute stress, which is, you know, you have a presentation tomorrow, you're a little stressed, you work on the presentation, give the presentation, it goes well, great. Or your mother-in-law is coming to your house and you know, you've got to clean up and you know, you've got to make sure everything is pretty and nice for her. That's an acute stress. Situation happens to you, you deal with it, you move on. Now that stress sometimes is good for you because a little bit of stress actually makes your brain work harder. It improves cognition. It can even improve your immunity just for a little bit. So not all stress is bad, but we don't experience acute stress. What we experience in our day-to-day -day life is something called as chronic stress, which is low level of stress we keep on experiencing every day. Examples of chronic stress can include being in a bad relationship, um, living with somebody who says mean things to you. It can include being at work with a co-worker who's 
harassing you or a boss that is very demanding or having a commute that stresses you every day you know small things we don't even realize but they contribute to stress physically and mentally and chronic stress is one of the biggest contributors to aging to accelerating aging chronic stress can even shrink your brain it can physically reduce the size of your brain and if your brain doesn't work well then aging happens faster number 1 learn how to manage your stress you cannot escape stress in your life and like i said earlier whether the stress is real or imaginary unfortunately your brain doesn't know the difference so you have to adopt strategies in your life that manage stress otherwise the excessive levels of cortisol wreak havoc on your brain and your body one great way to manage stress is to use your breath sudarshan kriya it's a great tool to manage your stress and slow down aging sudarshan kriya not just has an impact on the physical aging but on cellular aging and brain and cognitive aging so sudarshan kriya is a must the second tool that you can adopt in your life is the practice of meditation there is numerous research studies on meditation over the last few decades more than 10000 research studies have happened on on meditation just meditation itself out of them in 2021 itself there were 1000 research studies on meditation and a lot of them showed the benefits on aging and on brain so to maintain your brain health and to maintain your cellular health and to maintain the health of your telomeres also meditation is key just a few minutes of meditation a day one great way to meditate is through sahaj samadhi meditation that is taught in the art of living because it's a personalized meditation technique you don't need any aids for that you just sit down you have your own mantra and you meditate meditation is a habit which you must inculcate if you want to slow down aging the third habit would be to switch to a plant based diet which is a vegetarian diet the typical north american diet which is full of meat uh, even eggs is hurts your body a lot it hurts you at a cellular level at a genetic level if you want a healthy gut if you want a healthy brain if you want a good immune system and if you want to live longer healthier then you must switch to a plant based diet eat green leafy vegetables and some nuts and seeds every day just one walnut or a couple of almonds or you know a few pumpkin seeds spinach broccoli methi indian diet indian cuisine is full of green leafy vegetables and tea and coffee also have antioxidants good news for all you tea lovers out there the thing we do which spoils the makes the tea unhealthy is the amount of sugar we add in it So if you can figure out a way to have tea and coffee without white sugar and with maybe less milk then tea and coffee are great source of antioxidants as well. So one you help your body through meditation and sudarshan kriya to produce more antioxidants naturally but you can also ingest them. A very small thing that you can do that can help your brain stay healthier for longer is to incorporate haldi or turmeric in your diet. And of course one easy way to slow down aging is to move your body every day either exercise yoga pilates zumba whatever your pleasure is move your body every day to stay young the sixth thing you can do to slow down aging is to fast whether it's intermittent fasting or fasting you know on ekadashi or once a week when you fast you allow your body to repair itself and along with fasting it is also important to see the caloric intake the more caloric intake the faster your body ages fasting whether it's for few hours a day 18 hours a day 16 hours a day 12 hours a day helps your body recover from the stress it experiences it helps your brain it even helps your genetic material so fasting is a habit that you can inculcate in your life if you want to slow down aging number 1 is cut down on sugar if you can eliminate sugar that's great but if you can't at least cut down on it sugar is not just white sugar you know when i say 
cut down sugar people think of that one teaspoon of sugar they are putting in their chai but that's not how you consume sugar you consume sugar in ketchup you should consume sugar in cereal you consume sugar in energy bars you consume sugar in bread there are 61 different names under which sugar is sold to you and we consume so much sugar unknowingly one of the biggest advice i can give to you is read the ingredients before you buy something the more ingredients they are do not buy it lesser the number of ingredients in a food better it is for you sugar creates oxidative stress in your body that contributes to aging second stop smoking there's so much research on smoking and how it reduces lifespan so smoking is one of the biggest contributors to aging the third contributor to aging which you can eliminate from your life is alcohol consumption every time you drink alcohol you hurt your brain you either you know disrupt connections between some neurons disrupt your decision making you can even contribute to killing a few neurons over time and that is a contributor to aging the fourth thing you can do is to cut down the amount of processed and ultra processed food that you eat many people ask me what is processed food anything that comes from a plastic packet is processed food bread um store bought yogurt ketchup condiments candy anything that is wrapped in plastic is processed but there's a difference between processed and ultra processed so processed food could be you know a bread that you buy from a local bakery that is still okay and then there are foods that are ultra processed that are produced in a factory like setting like chips then candy a breakfast cereal cheese these are things that are ultra processed and they have a lot of chemicals and additives that create oxidative stress in your body and create damage and also contribute to an impaired functioning of the gut and your immune system so one of the ways to slow down aging is to eat natural eat local the fifth thing you must eliminate from your diet is meat any form of meat eggs fish chicken mutton any form of meat our body cannot digest the meat fully and then it produces certain chemicals certain compounds our gut microbiome when it interacts with the meat particles it creates certain chemicals and compounds that hurt your heart that hurt your immune system that also create oxidative stress damage your dna more and more research is appearing that that is linking meat consumption to more neurodegenerative disorders like alzheimers or dementia So switching to a plant-based diet is good for you in the long term.